All right, here we go. This is Dr. Heather to coming to you live from my kitchen. Hopefully you all had a chance to watch the video I made earlier about setting your heart and your home and your calendar ready for your intentions of fasting. Traditional fasting was no consumption of any food at all and very little water. We know that that dates back to the biblical times. Um, some of the fasting did involve using oils, which we'll talk about today. But knowing that we have today's stress, our topsoil is depleted, our waters are uh, more pollutant than we wanted to, I don't want people or ever do I ever advise people simply going on a water fast only. We need the trace minerals, we need electrolytes, and we need fats for our brain. Our brain is about 60% fat. It is the most important organ in our body, as you all know. So when we're doing a fast from anywhere 24 to 72 to 96 hours, you want to monitor how you feel. If you start to have dips in energy, I'm going to give you some tips and tricks. But what you need to have ready is you need to have some bone broth ready, and you need to have some um, MCT oil or some ketones ready. And the third thing is you need some pink Himalayan sea salt. So we want to use the Gatorade to supply all the macronutrients, the trace minerals that your body will need as it starts to detox and you can have as much as you want. Generally, people will have anywhere from three to five to six cups a day, and you can use it from several different sources. You can actually buy bone broth already made. I think some people shared you can actually find it in the freezer section of some of your more elite stores. You can find an organic free-range broth in a jug like this. It doesn't have very many fats, so you might want to throw an extra pound of butter in here if you're using this, or a little more coconut oil. You can also buy it um, where you can just simply reconstitute it. If you're using a powder form of bone broth, please make sure that you look at the labels on it. Make sure it's the cleanest variety that you can get, that it's non-GMO, it's free range, it's gluten free, soy free, and you can simply reconstitute that out. I will also post my YouTube video of just a simple easy bone broth that I make. And if you make it at home on the stove, you wanna cook it for about 24 hours. And then as you have three or four cups out of it, your first day of fasting, put another quart of water or so in it at night, let it cook overnight again, or you can simply heat it up for day two or day three. Then you always wanna make sure that you're adding some beautiful pink Himalayan sea salt. You can buy it in many different forms. Um, this is a bag I have, the big pink rocks here. You can also just put that in your water as you drink it during the day. And you wanna make sure you're having an excess of water. You wanna have really anywhere from 120 to two ounce, 200 ounces of water. You can also buy it in a crank like this. I don't want any of that white table salt. We want the pink Himalayan sea salt. If you Google pink Himalayan sea salt, you're gonna see the amazing benefits that it has it has tons and tons of macronutrients in it that you want to supply your body with so we're going to use our sea salt and we're going to use our bone broth as Gatorade or electrolyte balance like drinking plenty of water it's okay to make spa water if you want to have it set overnight and put a piece of lemon or lime in there mint rosemary thyme any of those great herbs can really help neutralize their water and you make sure again you're drinking plenty of water throughout the day the most important thing though is we want to make sure that our brain is functioning. So what that means is we've got to give your brain fat. Our, our brain actually runs far better on ketones than it does on glucose. Glucose comes from carbohydrates, excess proteins and carbohydrates. Even if it's organic, we don't really want to use very many carbohydrates during our fasting stage. So what we want to use is we want to use MCT oil or we want to use ketones. MCT oil is medium chain triglyceride. Our liver actually breaks it down and makes a ketone body out of it. Our brain can quickly uptake ketones and use it for energy. So there's lots of varieties out there. Again, just make sure you're buying one that doesn't have any added colorings, any artificial ingredients in it. You can buy something like this. It has a foam bulletproof or some other companies. Now Nutrition also has a great MCT oil. If you're buying a flavored one, beware of hidden carbs because it actually, this is a strawberry flavor, so it can have additional carbs in there, which is what you're really trying to avoid these first few days. You wanna really wanna minimize what you're putting in your body, so listen to your body. If it's hungry or you're feeling a little unstable, have a big pinch of sea salt, so maybe six to eight pinches throughout the day. Make sure you're having three to five cups of your bone broth a day, and then you wanna add some extra ketones in. So Prove It has made the first therapeutic exogenous ketones for the last 18 years of practice before this came out, I would have people doing tablespoons of MCT oil, maybe a little bit of protein powder, but lots of homemade bone broth. Now we can absolutely get the ketones right into your brain. How much is actually how your body responds. So if you're feeling tired, then you want to add maybe a half a serving or a whole serving of the Keto OS or Max throughout the day. Um, I think on stressful days, sometimes people maybe need three servings broken up throughout the day. The first day is generally the hardest because you're kind of used to having uh, food and eating and socializing with that. Day two is 
easy and day three people are feeling amazing. So the tips again are make sure your brain is fed MCT oil versus with Keto OS. You want to make sure you're using bone broth. Again, I'll give you a quick picture of that. Um, and you want to make sure you're using tons of sea salt. I also in the past before the Prove It products were available, I have a very specific mixture of fermented ancient grains that I have used that supply all the macronutrients, a little bit of protein, a little bit of extra fat. So hopefully this helps you on your way, getting your body started for a reset or a fast. And again, I'm going to show you and just end it with a quick picture of my bone broth. So hope this helps answer some questions for you.